Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're gonna go over why branding yourself too early can be a trap. And I wanna thank this video to the boy Kayola because he called me out, I was supposed to do it on a previous video, and he was basically like, bruh, ain't shit in this video got to do with branding. So when you wanna think about creating a brand too early, that oftentimes pretty much comes to, let's just say an artist, a rapper, singer, whatever they are, they're starting to make music and then they want to commit and create this strong brand around a song or two that they made, but they're early on in their development. At the beginning of something, you're developing so quickly and you're changing so quickly, you probably won't be the exact same artist weeks from now, maybe even less. What you need to do is follow the two-step process of branding yourself and being able to do it authentically in a way where you are comfortable with your brand, not just with somebody from the outside say, hey, I could brand you right here, cap, and make some money off you, kind of make you successful, but you end up in a space and thought of by the world as something that you don't even want to be. That two-step process goes as follows. One, experiment. Give yourself some time to experiment so you can get a feel, so you can have that period of learning quickly, and then get a feel for what things look like, how you want to be, what you like, and then you can understand number two, commit where you want to commit and say this is your brand for the time being. Experiment, commit. Even look at me and this channel personally. When I first created this channel, I was doing a lot of experimentation. I'm still doing a lot of experimentation. So as much as you hear me talk about branding and marketing and those things, you don't see an incredibly strong visual branding consistency yet. Why? Because I still have a lot to learn about what I want to do with this, how I want to do it, because I know I already have the inf information, but it's about how do I want to go about it and understanding that. So when I was having thoughts about branding, really only about two months into me seriously working and experimenting through these videos, I almost messed up because only a month and a half later, I have a completely different perspective and I understand a lot more how I want to go about executing videos in the future. I have a lot more of a vision now. It's easier to brand around a vision as opposed to just branding randomly and then hopefully trying to fit some kind of vision into it in the future. It's okay to start putting the work in and letting people know about it. But when you really say, hey, now I'm about to brand myself, branding is a commitment. And when you decide to make that commitment, you have to realize and remember that branding is based on perception over time. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. But don't let any of that stuff scare you because there's always room for evolution and becoming something new. And you can even do it quickly if you use certain tactics, which I did a video on uh, for ways to change your image quickly, something like that. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.